What are some of the best translation online courses out there? Coming up. Hello and welcome back to the Freelanceverse. Thanks for coming back to the channel. Today is a video that has been long in planning for several months actually. I'm going to share the top eight translation courses that are available for you guys online. Now it's important to specify here a little bit because I'm not talking about, for example, uh, university degrees, bachelor, masters that you can do online. Obviously there are many of them available and very good ones, very prestigious ones, but oftentimes they cost like thousands of dollars and are not attainable for many of you guys out there. Or you just don't want to spend three, four years and uh, to, to get a university degree, right? That's what these are for. These are specifically self-paced uh, online courses that take from a few weeks to a few months that you can do that are usually free or if you have to pay then you have to pay a monthly fee to the platform that they are on uh, they are offered by accredited institutions universities uh, one is from pros on the list as well um, and you will get a certificate that you can then share with your uh, employer with your agency with your direct client etc so i did some research i searched uh, the internet the depths of the internet for the for the best ones that i could find for the most interesting ones obviously i didn't take part in any uh, in all of these you know that would take too long because they all take several weeks or months to complete but i did my research i see what they offered so i came up with the eight best ones that i found and i would like to offer them to you uh, as a as a resource if you feel like especially if you have some downtime at the moment if you're not fully working uh, uh, on on projects why not do something like this maybe complete one two or three of these and get uh, your experience up and also your your credibility because then you have certificates so let's get started with number one the first one i'd like to talk to you about not in any particular order by the way this doesn't mean that it's the best or the least good of these eight uh, it's just a random list i have the first one is the introduction to internationalization and localization. This is offered by the University of Washington. It is a massive online open course. It teaches interna internationalization and localization end to end. Uh, you can learn how digital product uh, needs to be designed to be a world ready and how it's getting uh, adapted to the needs of the international target. Uh, it's an introductory course. Uh, it covers all the basics. But still, it is an advanced course, uh, especially advanced for people that have interest in computer science. Uh, so the prerequisites are uh, knowledge in computer science, knowledge of another language, and English can be helpful, but is not required. Uh, you will get a professional certificate uh, in case you pay. If you do the free course, it's completely free. You can do this course at any time, but then you will not get a certificate, but you can still add it to your LinkedIn, etc. If you pay 204 euros, you will actually be able to get uh, uh, ex ex uh, graded exams and a certificate. The course takes six weeks for if you spend two to five hours a week on it. Uh, you will learn uh, why, local, why apps should be localized, what markets to cover first, the basic concepts of localization, sourcing models, etc. So this is really quite technical if you're interested in localization, especially technical and apps. The next course I'd like to talk to you about is called Working with Translation, Theory and Practice. This is offered by Cardiff University in Wales. If you take this course, you will explore what it means to communicate in multiple languages in a variety of contexts and discover your inner translator. So this is really for beginners. If you are just starting out, this is great. There are non, no prerequisites. Uh, this course is for anyone interested in language and translation. You will get a digital certificate. The course on its own is free, but you have to pay for the future learn subscription, which is $23.99 a month. Um, but then you can uh, access endless courses on there. So maybe check if there are also other courses on there you like. It's a four week course if you spend four hours a week. Uh, so you can technically also do it within one week. You will learn what is translation, who translates, where does the translation take place, what is a good translation, etc. So it's really a uh, beginner level, right? On every step of the course, you can meet other learners, share your ideas and join in with active discussions in the comments. The next one is called Translation in Practice from the Nanjing University. This one I see everywhere. Uh, it has very good reviews. People take it all the time. I think it's on Coursera, is it? Uh, yeah, I think so. So if I go based on popularity, this one is very high on the, on the list. 
Uh, translation in practice uh, offers you basic but valuable techniques used by a good translator in the translation between English and Chinese, but it also focuses on any language, so it's not only for Chinese translators, but uh, probably specifically for them. Uh, you dig discuss what is translation, what's a good translation, uh, and, and learn about how to pr produce good translations. It's a 23 hours course, uh, it's a sh you get the shareable certificate if you uh, do the paid version. Again, if you do the course for free, you don't get a certificate. Subtitles are offered in many different languages, so it's also good for if you don't speak Chinese or English. It has a very good rating, 4.71 out of 5. It's for beginners and uh, what you will learn is a brief introduction to translation, the process of translating, understanding and expressing word meaning, sentence translation, word order division, etc. Next up is the Online Translation Certificate by the University of Arizona. This program, developed with support from a grant from the Arizona Board of Regents, is designed to prepare students with a good writing proficiency in Spanish and English for careers in translating and in related areas. You will cover three specializations, medical, legal and business. It's a 16 weeks uh, uh, course, so it's quite long and uh, you get a University of Arizona non-credit certificate in translation, so it's not actually from the... So it doesn't help you if you are uh, doing a university course, but it's still a university accredited uh, certificate. Uh, English Spanish speakers with no formal training in translation can, uh, can, can participate. To apply, you will need to complete and submit a background information form and a written entrance exam. So it's quite much more serious. And this one is actually quite expensive. This is the most expensive ones I have on the list. It's $825 per course. Um, so this is a really serious one. If you're really thinking about uh, getting a university degree, this could be kind of a middle, middle ground if you don't want to pay tens of thousands of dollars, but just a few thousands of dollars, this could be it. Next up is the Introduction to Intercultural Studies from Leeds University. In this course, you will explore intercultural communication by understanding the relationship between language and cultural and the identity. So this is more uh, focused on cultures, on language, but equally important for translation, of course. What is language? What's the relationship between language and culture? It's a short two-week course, five, five hours a week. Uh, you get a digital certificate. Um, if you pay, you will get a full certificate. If you pay $27.99 a month, uh, for the subscription there is no requirements it's for beginners and uh, on every step of the course you can meet other learners share your ideas etc next one is again by the university of washington we go back to that it's called localization adapting digital content to local markets so very interesting and again much more technical in this course, you will learn what it takes to tailor digital products for international markets through localization. Find out what other steps a localization project entails and how cost, schedule and quality are managed. It's a six weeks course if you spend two to five hours a week. Uh, and if you pay, you will get the full professional certificate. If you don't pay, you don't get a certificate, but you can still use it as experience. Again, you need some knowledge in computer science and another language apart from English. You will learn how to set up localization projects, how to define the scope within them, managing translation assets, translation tools, etc. Next up is the only one that's not by a university institute, but by pros themselves. It's called how to get started as a freelance translator. This is a course that you can access on the, on the education page of PROS. It costs at the moment $99 with a discount. It's self-paced uh, except for the cohorts that you work with, with students and teachers. It can be tough to get started. How do you find clients? How you can convince people that you have experience when you don't? What should you do about cut tools and online uh, platforms, etc.? You will learn um, how to become a freelance translator. Why do clients hire translators? Uh, getting the most out of your pros profile so if you are so if you are especially if you're starting out on pros this is very interesting to 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 do 15 hours video material plus then the study material and you get two months of support by the pros uh, people and you will get a certificate of completion as well no prerequisites anyone can join and the last one i want to mention is by the university of geneva um, it's a course called international organizations for interpreters so this one is specifically focused on conference interpreters, not, in, not on translators, but I know that many of you are also thinking about this uh, pathway, so that's why I mention it here as well. This course is aimed at students of conference interpreting or people who wish to begin studying interpreting. It is based on a long-standing long lecture course given by the oldest interpreting school in the world. 
the Faculty of Translation in Geneva. You will learn about the history, evolution and trends of the industry, uh, multilingualism in international organizations, uh, competencies and function of international organizations that you need. It's a 17 hour course. Uh, you get a shareable certificate. If you don't want the certificate, it's free. Otherwise it's $49 uh, and you don't have any prerequisites. Uh, it has a rating of 4.8. So I think for anyone thinking about going into interpreting, this is a great first step because then you know if you will like it and then you can still go to an actual full uh, university program. But just to start out in the industry, I think this is a great way to enter the market. There you go. I hope this makes sense. These are my top eight online courses. Let me know in the comments if you have taken part in any of them or if, have, if you have taken another one. There are thousands out there. You just need to find the ones that work for you. Uh, these ones are a bit, you know, some are translation specific, some more technical, localization, some interpreting. So I try to cover the whole spectrum. As I said before, if you currently don't have a lot of work, this could be one avenue to, to explore because it's great to, to do CPT, continuous professional development, as we call it. Very important. So whenever I find a course that I like, I also write it up. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video and I see you next Monday. Bye bye.